So let's compare the old Audi RS3 to the new one. So this old one, this is actually like a pre, like a facelift version, if that makes sense. This is 2020 model year Audi RS3. Um, not the current one, which has just come out. Probably set to see it in the UK sort of late 2021 in, into 2022. But yeah, let's go through this and see what you think. So this is sort of like a front end of the old version. I think it looks pretty good. I was never a biggest fan of those wheels, but obviously you can change them and stuff. But yeah, that's kind of what you get. You get nice, um, nice lights. Um, yeah, it's, it, the A3 platform, I think, was really, really good. This one's well specced in a panoramic roof. Um, yeah, what can be improved upon? Well, Audi have obviously had the task to do that. So let's look at the front end of the new shape. Um, here it is, a bit more probably, I don't know, photoshopped by Audi, but at the same point, there you, there you go. You get the bigger grill because that's just what they do. Slightly sharper lights at the front. Slightly more aggressive bonnet as well. Um, so yeah, that's different. And in certain models, you obviously got blacked out art, um, sort of like Audi ring badged as well. Certainly in that color and spec, fairly confident that's a Vorsprung model. Um, it's certainly more aggressive, I'd say. The other one was probably a bit more blending in, um, but I think the sharper lines of the A3 has kind of happened anyway um, from the new model. So not necessarily an RS3 to RS3 difference, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the looks of the front end and the overall pictures kind of coming up shortly. So let's check out the rear end of the new one. So yeah, Quad, um, not quad, exhaust pipes, although you can see sort of two exhaust pipes in each. Yeah, that's what they do. But yeah, two oval exhaust pipes, the exact same on both. Um, but this is obviously the new shape. You've got, yeah, it, I mean, it looks good. Little um, sort of subtle diffuser, sharp lines, cool LED lights. They've obviously got the swiveling motion as well, which is kind of like an Audi trait now. But nothing to shout home about, not too aggressive, but again, nice and sharp, which I think is quite a good thing. And if you compare that to the old version, yeah, it's <laughs> it certainly is weird, isn't it? It's a lot more toned down, I think. I generally do. I think it's there's less to it. Although the diffuser looks a little bit more interesting on, uh, maybe it's just a reflection on the older version. Again, twin um, oval exhausts. But other than that, it looks like a normal A3 to a point, which I think is probably the point. Again, this one has a pan roof as well, so it's quite well specced. But yeah, interesting to know what you think about about the two. And, you know, it's weird when these models come out, you think, oh, it's, you know, you can't get any better than that. And then they obviously have to make a new one. So that's, that's just what happens. Moving on to the interior. Now, this is the pit bit here where I think it's the biggest change. Old one, nothing wrong with it. A bit of Alcantara on the wheel. Um, you know, for its time, virtual dash was obviously quite a incoming thing, and yeah, simplified buttons. Yeah, nothing to nothing to dislike at all. And I think what you will notice is the sharpness of the graphics of the screen. Certainly something that I've noticed from since driving a Mark Eight Golf, um, Mark Eight Golf GTI cl um, Club Sport compared to my Mark Seven Golf R. Um, you do notice the graphical interface difference. So let's see the new RS3, and yeah, I mean it's a lot more sharper. A lot more cleaner as well. The gear stick's not as big. I think I like the wheel. I, I think it's got a lot going for it. But yeah, you can really see those graphics. The detail of them is really, really nice. And um, yeah, that's obviously a huge improvement over sort of like the last model. So interesting to know what you think, whether or not you think sort of like the old one looks better or the new one looks better. Um, you know, it's weird. A, a lot of owners on here, we talk about sort of like the Mark 8 Golf R and the Mark 8 Golf GTI Club Sport, along with the Mark 7 Golf R and... GTI products and a lot of people aren't convinced by the Mark 8 looks. I'm sort of in two camps. I like my Mark 7 personally um, but I've got nothing against the Mark 8 but with the Audi I really like the new one. I really like the new looks of it. I, I think they've absolutely nailed it but interesting to know what you think as well in the comments so yeah please let me know below. Um, we're going to come on to a few more clips now along with the sound actually of the new RS3 which I thought was quite cool that Audi added on their website so I'll play that now and yeah I hope you enjoy it. So should you actually get a used RS3 or should you actually get the new um, the new RS3 that's set to come out shortly? Well, first of all, price-wise, 
starting from £50,900 for the new one. The old one, because of what's going on in the car market, even a really high miler, I'm going for sort of like the pre facelift model, so 2017, 67 plate onwards, starts from £35,000. And as you kind of go on further, you can see that actually, you know, you can spend easily sort of another forty thousand pounds and it goes kind of on from there up towards fifty thousand pounds so that's a lot of money and in fact not that much dissimilar from getting the new one and i think that's just the way obviously supply and demand is at the moment it's um very very interesting but yeah that's what you're looking for if you want to get one obviously today obviously these cars are readily available to get wherever wherever your new rs3 isn't but yeah price wise it's not actually that much in it and you know would i would i want a seventy thousand mile rs3 or a brand spanking new new one i think i'd probably wait um obviously it depends on the way um depending on um, what's happening in the world at the moment but yeah interesting and interesting to know your thoughts as well in the comments below something i wanted to end it on was the sort of old version of the rs3 in saloon form um this is actually an lms version one hundred and ten thousand pounds for sale which i just randomly came across while looking at rs3s um yeah it's it's a bit out there this is track only so it's not even available for the road it looks pretty special i mean look at the details on that it just reminds me of something off like forza it looks absolutely cracking i'm sure the downforce is ridiculous as well and you can see so the way those sort of rear wheels are exposed single exhaust pipe you know proper lms got a lot going for it and yeah it shows you that obviously the the old car is still obviously well thought of and it will continue to be and yeah, I mean, that's a pretty special one. I wanted to end it there. Um, so, yeah, very RS3 themed video. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think? New one, old one. Looks. The final thing I'll probably add is just a little bit on the power. It's the same. It's 400 PS around about then. The only thing different is that the old one has slightly more torque and it comes in slightly earlier. So, thus, it's a little bit quicker. Um, obviously, there's a lot more under the skin that's been changed, in, including sort of like the torque split at the rear for the new one similar to mark 8 golf r so potentially the handling should be a little bit better but they haven't done really that much the engine it's still that five cylinder it's still that two and a half liter engine which has obviously won multiple awards over the years um but let me know in your comments which one would you go for today old one or new one or would you get the old one and hold out um a few more months and yeah trade it in for the new one when it comes um prices are high at the moment for used cars so it's a tricky decision um i think i am in the new camp although it'll be interesting what you thought of the sound of the new one obviously not quite the same sounding car with particularly in the uk with sort of all the filters that we're getting so a tough decision um and soft limiters as well so you only rev it i didn't sound like it was revving to the, the full beans so a, a, an interesting choice but um yeah two cracking cars two pinnacle of pot hatches and yeah glad to see that audi have sort of released um, the new one and looking forward to seeing seeing it and checking it out but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you are collecting a new rs3 let me know your thoughts in the comments as well um if you want to check out my channel as well i've got plenty of content on here as well so um yeah you kind of know what i'm all about and obviously put a face to a name rather than just you know hearing a voice <laughs> um i do do other videos and um yeah i hope you enjoy it and yeah subscribe share like if you do enjoy this kind of content thanks so much for watching i will see you again next time Cheers, guys.